Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm just wrapping up my review of the Asus Novago here. And something that I've had a difficult time showing in previous videos is just how sluggish it can be when you're trying to do certain things like typing. I've mentioned a couple of times, but have a difficult time showing this. Uh, but as you type, sometimes it takes a moment for the words to show up. And so if you're used to just sort of hitting a letter and having it appear on the screen, uh, it can be frustrating to not know if you made a typo and as somebody who's relatively typo prone on a good day, it can be a frustrating experience. So I was uh, I was finishing up this review, and as I was writing, I realized that this was happening. So I figured I would shoot a quick video and show you what I'm talking about. Now, of course, because I'm trying to do the video, it's working just fine. There we go. So as I type, it can take a while for things to show up. As I'm typing. It can take a while before everything shows up on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and try and delete a little bit of that. Shows up on the screen. So if you don't know if you made a mistake until after you've entered some text, that can be problematic. And that's just sort of indicative of some of the kinds of performance issues that I've seen here. So the same sort of thing can happen when I'm clicking from one browser tab to another, running multiple applications at once. Uh, generally speaking, uh, particularly when you're running sort of more resource intensive ask, uh, uh, applications like the Google Chrome web browser, you might start to notice little things that just sort of make the experience of using a computer slightly less magical than it typically is these days. I've gotten really used to the idea that you press something and it happens. And this feels a little bit more like using a computer from, I don't know, 20 years ago, where sometimes you just have that pause built in. What's particularly frustrating is that it's inconsistent. And that means that uh, certain things work sometimes and then they don't work sometimes. And so it's hard to get used to. You can't just think, oh, I know that when I click that button, it's gonna take a second for the page to load. Um, it's something that sometimes will be just fine and sometimes it's not gonna be just fine. Um, so you can check out our YouTube channel and lilliputing.com for more details about overall performance. Here, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the lag issues. Uh, so this is on the Asus Novago, which is one of the first Windows 10 on ARM computers with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor and uh, sells for about $599 and up, and it's running Windows 10 Pro in this demo video. And this is actually the Google Chrome web browser that we're looking at. So uh, that is just a, a little bit of a quick overview of a little bit of the laggy experience. You can find more information, including benchmarks and so forth, in the written review, which I'm going to publish shortly uh, and should be up by the time you see this video, most likely. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and the Asus Novago, which is, generally speaking, an intriguing little device. It's just one that's a little bit hard to justify purchasing at this point, uh, given that you get long battery life and the, uh, the built-in 4G LTE connectivity, but relatively lackluster performance in this $599 machine.